Hey guys, welcome back to the drop. I'm to hear more. Did you eat somebody's granddad? <laughs> my voice matches my beard. It does. I'm back to scoop and Kid Cudi got problems because he went to Twitter to air out how he felt about a few rappers and he named Kanye and Drake and you know they gonna fire back. I can't even believe he would do something like this. He was in his feeling. He said that he was feeling fantastic. He must have been because that's a death wish. Who leaves good music to put out a mediocre album? Kid Cudi, that's who. Kid Cudi has collaborated with Kanye a lot over the years, but he said that's over. Now all of this stemmed from the fact that Kanye and Drake said that they're gonna do a project together, most likely a mixtape. So you jealous. You jealous and you don't know how to express that like a man, so you just throw a whole tantrum. He saved you from folded sweaters at the Gap. You need to get your shit together. A Louis Vuitton, wherever the hell you was working at, but you weren't making more than $20 an hour, and now you be, you know what? You ungrateful bastard. I mean, but in his defense, he does feel slighted, so I don't know if there was something that was worked out with them that's like, hey, Cuddy, you gonna be on all this stuff with me, and then he finds out he's not. Maybe they did something wrong to him behind the scenes we don't know about. What, put him in rehab? We're not addressing his drug addiction? Every album that he made, he said he was on something. Kanye and Drake are not ones to let anything slide. So last night, Kanye was at his St. Pablo tour in Tampa, mm -hmm. and he's talking about, you need to respect me. Ain't nobody tell Kanye who to do songs with. Respect the God. Whenever Kanye's mad, he starts speaking in third person. Which is and like that, all the time though. Yeah. <laughs> they always mad. That's his trick. He's like the hawk. My trick is I'm always angry. <laughs> and it's justified. He's Kanye West, damn it. Drake was in Oakland last night for his summer 16 tour. Now you know he didn't stop. He had to say something and he said, I heard these boys talk down about us today. Shout out to my brother Kanye West. We got sold out shows. <laughs> uh. Boy, you getting way too high, you need to cut him. Your pants is way too tight, you need to cut it. And burn it. I want to see the jeans first. I got called names before you, bro. I think that's the most ridiculous argument Kanye has ever made. I wore skinny jeans first. Right, that, how yeah. are they fighting about that? I like, don't understand. Why would you beef with two number one rappers that are both on tour right now? They have the best platform, Kid Cudi. Right. That further lets me know that he is still on some type of drug or alcohol abuse program because he's just not thinking about this in a in a great way at all. He's just this is bad for his life. I know, but sometimes people want to stay relevant and what better way than to take shots at two really huge rappers that have their Ooh. own tour. Ooh, I know Ooh. a good way. Uh, I, know a good, to hear. I know a good way. Make good music. We want to hear from you. Do you think Kid Cudi was just all in his feelings with his tweets or do you think he has a point? Put it in the comments below. And before we get out of here, you already know what time it is. It's the coming, coming of, of the day. day. Okay, Barry yeah, White. Yeah, shut up, I was in the studio. Comment of the day refers to yesterday's video about Lambo dating LeBron James' mom, and it goes to Jack Goat. He says, if my mama did that, I'd smash his sister. <laughs> You're damn right. We see you, fam. Yeah. <laughs> As always, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm to hear more. And I'm Meg Scoop. We'll see you tomorrow right here on The Drop. Drop. Beep.